Hello guys, uh, today I am going to talk about uh, how to add more party members into your team in the battle and once you add them how to if you are using the Vigustella battle core or Vigustella engine how to add all those party members come into battle and don't stand in the same row like uh, they all are in the SC one line but you don't want them to be in one line you want four 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 like four or two columns or rows then how to do that so let me go and show you guys uh, the little bit of things that I have changed is the code and uh, it is it doesn't affect uh, even if I change this uh, uh, resolution uh, of the game uh, they will still uh, follow all the thing properly so let me go and show you guys and I will teach you how to do that uh, sound okay so uh, right now uh, this uh, resolution is 800 by uh, 600 or something like that 860 so if I go into battle uh, they are properly arranged over here but let's go and add some more party members to the team like uh, let's go and become the party of 8 people and if I go into this I don't see the single line they are properly arranged over in the next line and uh, if I use their commands oops uh, if I let me go and add more party member and then I will show you guys so they will arrange in the third row now so if I use their attack command uh, they don't overlap each other they are having a gap between them properly and this is for this uh, smaller skin if I uh, go ahead and increase the resolution like 1024 by 768 Similarly, 1024 by 768. And if I play the game now, uh, it is still uh, they are on the proper distance. As you can see, screen size has been increased already. And it's going to take a little bit of time because I am using so many of plugins. That's why. But if you go here and if I go and add all of the party members back to my uh, team. As you can see, they are having properly uh, arranged in their uh, lines and they are not disturbing each other. And similarly, if you keep uh, going on and even if you go into very bigger screen like uh, uh, at least my PC support up to 920 and 1080, but it doesn't matter or uh, whatever. Uh, uh, whatever is the screen resolution you choose uh, they will stay in this uh, format if you want to change their format you want to make them little bit uh, more uh, distance from each other you can even do that and you just have to change only uh, uh, you know what like uh, just the difference value for each time uh, rest of the things you don't have to change like I will show you guys one second So if you go into here, as you can see, uh, they all are in the proper line over there. So how to do this thing and how to add more party member to your uh, game. So first thing, uh, this is a very uh, small code. I will uh, uh, write down all this code into the description below. So you can just copy paste over there. So all you have to do, let's say you want to make a more party member than four, uh, you have to make a parallel event. Uh, right now I am just keeping them as a, you know, like uh, manual, but you just have to make a parallel event, then go to the script, uh, double clicking on this third tab script, and then write this game party prototype max battle member functions, and then return. It should be four over here if you want four member. If you want 5, then put it 5. If you want 8, put it 8. If you want 12, just put it 12 over there. Uh, this is how you can uh, change the party members also. And even you can make this as your game uh, feature that uh, in some battles, if you want to make uh, have the only two party members, if you want to have 10 party members in your uh, like battle, then you can actually make that uh, thing over here. So if you change it to two, it doesn't matter even if your party having 10 or 12 uh, people in party, but only two people be uh, shown into the, uh, you know what, uh, uh, in the battle. Let me show you guys what I mean. So 
so right now i have eight people in my uh, I, i have 12 people in my party if you can see but only four people can join the uh, battle because i have didn't uh, i as you can see only eight people because i just talked uh, for the eight ones and if i go back and if i talk with this guy i can actually take all of those guys back into the battle okay uh, so this is how it will work uh, i changed this to parallel that's why i paper eight people came into party but if it is one uh, auto it should be only four people so now let's go and talk about what to do changes in the visu stella battle core so that you can get and you don't have to change the values again and again i have already calculated what is that uh, battle uh, command uh, that uh, thing size over there so that uh, our character will not go over there so go into the your battle core engine with you stella and you make sure you are having the core engine on and that you go into the actor battle setting okay then scroll this a little bit and then you will able to see this home position so we have to copy paste this three line of code below the as you can see i am at top of over here declare the constant so after this argument you have to copy paste uh, these three lines i will put it in the uh, description that you are making sure that members is a variable that calculates the how many uh, members inside of the battle that if it is 1 2 3 like we are having five battle members that it is calculating this member variable and we are making sure that like, uh, it should be work with the x and y position over here for their index okay so uh, in go into the make calculation and up to uh, this or uh, you see home position offset whatever code is written in that make calculation just delete it once you delete it uh, you have to make sure that uh, this member you have uh, def uh, define this uh, constant over here so that i am uh, taking that over here if members and then i am making sure if my members is 1 or 2 uh, this double uh, line means or sign uh, you can say or uh if uh, don't put and over here or uh, or in a written format uh, it will not work you have to make sure you are having this uh, two lines uh, drawn over there and then uh, let's see if you want to make a uh, five uh, battle members then just type up to five if you want to make eight just type up to eight i have kept over here up to 12 as you can see so after 12 i am just closing this bracket and then uh, i am opening this uh, curly bracket over here all right so now uh, this is the index number index number 0 means you are a first actor in your uh, party or the second actor third actor and fourth actor and this uh, four actor will shown uh, at the very last line over here uh, let me go and turn this on so i will exactly explain you uh, how you are going to uh, see these things okay so we are back over here as you can see this index number 0 1 2 3 so here these are the 0 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this is how their uh, numbers are so 0 is uh, as you can see i have put so i need to find out x position so x position means uh, horizontal line over here so i have what i have done i have done this graphics with d minus by 100 so this uh, width of your resolution of the screen uh, which is the x uh, horizontal that is minus by 100 so this is the 100 minus and then uh, that x position this battler is standing over here and for why uh, i decided to go from the bottom one first because i know uh, most of the time uh, this size of this window will not increase by the 270 so Uh, most of the cases it will stay up to 250 but even though i decided to leave a little bit of gap over there so you can exactly uh, change what you want so from x uh, position i am minusing 100 and after that i am doing that uh, height uh, that is 270 over here so from bottom this is uh, 270 is minus from this whole height and then i go found out this uh, last one uh, which is the third one 
and after that i am just uh, reducing the uh, what you say as you can see i am reducing the uh, adding or uh, 70 of the height in between two backlogs so that they don't stand on each other sides and then i am adding 70 again and then i am adding 70 again over here uh, similarly for second line as you can see uh, what i have done i have reduced the uh, 48 so here it is 48 and then this is 48 so i have reduced the 96 of these things from the uh, height now so before i was using the 100 now i am uh, using 196 and similarly at 292 that's what i have done and this will uh, keep all your party members in rows like one two and three and this will start from here your first battler is here uh, second is here so first is zero index second is one index as as it is going on so what i will do i will just copy paste this code into the description you just go over there uh, change this uh, make calculation remove all the code that having over there and put it over here and make sure you have to uh, put how many party members you want over here if you want more than 12 just add this sign copy over paste over here to give the space and write 13 like 14 write 15 like that you have to make sure that uh, you are giving all of these party members and then if you put uh, 31 you have to add the index number 12 and keep going on ahead this is how you can do it so see you guys if you like this video make sure to like and hit the button and thank you